black hole. Mysterious black holes are one of the most exotic objects in the universe. They get their name as they do not emit light. A black hole is a region in space where the pull of gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape if it gets too close. Let's study how these peculiar objects are formed. What powers all living processes and makes our planet so perfect for life? The sun. The sun is a boiling ball of gas heated to extremely high temperatures. But while the sun is extremely special for us, it's a very average star. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's not too old. At the centre of a star, a burning core exists where fusion joins lighter elements together to form heavier elements. This process generates heat, exerting an outward pressure that counteracts the inward pull of gravity. Stars spend their lifetime with these two forces in balance, where the surface is held out and the shape is maintained. Let's imagine the balloon is a star. The aluminium foil represents a layer of gas. A star consists of many layers of gas. The air inside the balloon pushes its rim outward as the pressure generated by the burning in the stellar core pushes its gas out. Gravity causes the gas to be pulled inwards. Throughout the life of a star, the outward force generated by the burning balances the inward force of gravity. Let's check what is the weight of an average star. All stars start out fusing hydrogen into helium. The small, cooler stars stop at that point, but the more massive stars continue to fuse heavier and heavier elements together. When the star reaches the end of its life, the nuclear fusion stops. Finally, gravity can overcome that outward push generated by that fusion. At the end of its life, a star runs out of fuel in its core and the burning process stops. This is like popping the balloon. Gravity wins and the star collapses. Outer layers of gas get blown away. The explosion of a star is called supernova. The inner foil represents a stellar core. The hands act as gravity pushing inward and squeezing the remaining core into a smaller ball. The core of the star, after a supernova explosion, still has a lot of mass. For massive stars, the collapse into such a small region of space results in the formation of a black hole. Gravity is an attractive force, where the attraction can be explained by a space being bent by the mass of the object. The more mass something has, the more space is curved, and therefore, the more gravity there is. The stretchy sheet acts as space. Any object with mass deforms space, just like a marble creating a dimple on the surface of the sheet. The heavy marble represents a black hole. Light marbles act as other objects in space, like stars or planets. They roll towards the heavy marble. The curvature of space causes objects to move towards each other, which is seen as gravity. A black hole is a region in space where the pull of gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Where does a black hole's extreme gravity come from? The heavy marble acts as a black hole. A black hole is small in size but with an enormous amount of mass. Space is extremely curved around objects with enormous mass, compressed in a small area like black holes. The light marble, which represents a different object in space, gets close enough to the concentrated mass and becomes trapped in the gravitational well. The small size of a black hole allows an object to get very close to it, to an area where space is greatly curved. Let's prepare a star of the same mass as the black hole and call it an initial star. The initial star 
is bigger than the black hole, but their masses are equal. In contrast to the black hole, when the same mass is distributed over a larger area, the object mass is spread out and gravity isn't so extreme because the space curves less steep and more gradually. Black holes can continue to grow more massive as they accumulate more and more material from their surroundings, from other stars and even other black holes. Black holes can even be as massive as more than a million suns, and these black holes are called supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes are thought to exist at the centre of most galaxies, and one is at the centre of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Because the enormous mass of a black hole is extremely concentrated, it warps space so much that everything, once entered, cannot escape from the gravitational pull, not even light. Nevertheless, astronomers can still study these invisible, exotic objects. <laughs>